Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a GitHub personal access token. But before we do that, let's quickly answer the question. Why would you need a personal access token for GitHub? The reason for that is simple. For some time now, for you to be able to push to a GitHub repository, you would need to log in with your username and password. But GitHub doesn't accept password for you to push to your GitHub repository. So you will need a personal access token that you would place in the feed for the password. In other words, you need your GitHub account, username, and the personal access token. You can still log into your GitHub account with your username and password. But for you to push to your GitHub repository, you will need a personal access token, which is different from your password. So in this video, I will show you how to create a personal access token on GitHub. Now let's log into our GitHub account. Great. Now I am logged into my GitHub account with my username and my GitHub password. But I am going to create a personal access token, which I will use as my password whenever I want to push to a GitHub repository, or if I want to connect to a GitHub repository and push to it. To create a personal access token on GitHub, once you are logged in, you are on your dashboard, click on your username, this icon here, click on settings, here on the left hand side, scroll down and click on developer settings. Now click on personal access tokens. You can use the fine grain tokens or tokens classic. Here I will click on tokens classic. And here it says generate new token. Click on it. You can use the fine grain repository which is on beta, but in this case, I will click on generate new token classic. Click on it. And now it will ask you to log into your account. This is access confirmation. In this case, you need your GitHub normal password. Now we need to confirm our password. Click on confirm. Great. And here now it says new personal access token. Classic. Uh, a note here, you can add a note which is like a description. What is this token for? I will say here for my tutorial demo. You can use anything that describes what you are creating the token. For. Here it says expiration 30 days. Click on it. You can choose 7 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or custom. If you click on custom, you can specify how long you want the token to be valid for. It can be one year or longer. You can also click on no expiration. For this video, I will click 90 days. And here now it says the token will expire on this date so whatever you specify it will show here so for the select scopes you can select the scopes or you can leave it by default as it is but in this case i will click on repo workflow write package delete don't select delete unless you are very sure of how you are going to be using it. I can also click admin. And I will click user and notifications. So that is okay for now. Now I click on generate token. Great. And here it says tokens you have generated that can be used to assess github api here this is your token copy it click on this 
button here to copy it and it says copied please make sure that you save it somewhere you can delete it if you want but i am not going to delete it so i have copied it and i am going to save it somewhere it is very important that you save it somewhere because once you leave this page or you sign out you will not be able to see this token again you won't be able to see this code anymore it is advisable that you copy it and save it somewhere so that whenever you want to access github api or push to a repository on github you will be able to find it and use it as your password great this is my token and i am going to save it so that whenever i need it i can always find it i will minimize this so now we have created an access token on github and whenever we want to access github api or push to a remote directory on github we will be able to use that uh, token so this is how you create a token for your account on github thank you for watching see you in my next video Bye for now.